The 1990s were a unique decade of cinema that produced a multitude of blockbusters. While the decade had its fair share of hit comedies, action films, and science fiction epics, there were many critically acclaimed awards contenders that also had significant box office success. Among the biggest events of the decade was Robert Zemeckis' adaptation of the acclaimed novel Forrest Gump. Interested readers may have been slightly confused when they checked out the original source material, as the Forrest Gump movie is radically different from the book. The Forrest Gump film negated some of the book's more disturbing aspects, including storylines involving the character's more violent experiences serving in the Vietnam War, and some tragic details about his backstory that are only hinted at in the final film. Although it was certainly more lighthearted than the novel it was based on, the Forrest Gump movie cut out a storyline involving Hanks' character going to space with an ape. Unlike the movie, the novel shows that while in a mental institution, Forrest's ability to do math in his head draws the attention of doctors who recommend him to NASA. He is offered the opportunity to leave the confined hospital and take part in one of the nation's most ambitious space programs. Forrest's ability to make complex calculations in his head is perfect for an experimental mission that teams him up with the astronaut Major Janet Fritch, who is expected to be the first woman in space. In addition to Fritch and another astronaut, Forrest's mission to space includes an ape that he nicknames Sue. While a deviation from historical fact, this was a reference to NASA's real history of sending apes to space. Although his ability to connect with Sue spares the mission from any truly disastrous consequences, Forrest and his fellow astronauts crash land in New Guinea, where they become hostages to a tribe of cannibals. The novel briefly turns into a survival thriller, as Forrest and the other astronauts have no way to communicate with their superiors at NASA. However, Forrest's adaptability once again wins the day when he learns how to play chess by communicating with the tribe members. After he returns home, Forrest becomes a national chess champion and meets President Richard Nixon. Although it may have made for an entertaining subplot, the space storyline didn't fit within the tone that Zemeckis was aiming for with the Forrest Gump movie. While the film involves Forrest interacting with many historical figures and becoming involved in famous events, it never suggests that he completely changes history. Involving Forrest in a situation as high profile as an outer space mission would have stretched the believability of the narrative and would not have reflected the character's more humble origins. As exciting as the space mission would have been to see on screen, removing the NASA storyline allowed the Forrest Gump film to cut out some of the novel's darker aspects.